All right, we are here today with an episode, The Adventures with Matt and Toki. As we can see here um, on Toki's property is an old building here. And uh, <laughs> I can't lie, we were a little worried about if we tore it down nicely. Yeah, it just seemed like a really bad idea. So what we decided to do instead is we were going to pull it down. Now, and to get rid of all the wood products, let me be very clear, wood products only, you're going to see us. We actually do sort through it all. We do not want to burn anything that is poisonous to the environment or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you can see inside, uh, there's a lot of insulation, which was not fun to get rid of. But yeah, you're going to see all that. Now, I do want to say with this building, we are going to burn it. So please make sure you've checked into fire codes and anything else as um, you don't want to be in any way responsible for fires and also just follow your local laws um triple check it honestly this was good you're not going to see some of the precautions uh we're more interested in working than actually filming so uh you can't see the hoses and other stuff we had on in play the first thing we did think is oh we'll just pull it over with a truck as you can see we thought this building was about to be uh an easy job uh, what we quickly realized is as the building uh, it was still uh winter you can't tell in canada because there's not 10 feet of snow if you're towing something as soon as it starts moving that's when stuff starts to break so having the ice there did not help so we had to go back to the drawing board so at this point what we decided to do is we wanted to open up some of the beams into the structure i was going to do it all nice and fancy with a crowbar but uh toki had other ideas yeah this seemed like the uh better idea so we cut all the main supports at this point as you can see i was on the watching being a spotter on it even though toki would have been safe it's still a good idea anytime you're cutting structures beams that a you're outside B, you have a spotter. You want to make sure. We did check for nails into the wood. Um, at this point, we also had to readjust the chain because we were trying to pinch into the building and topple it over. If you're wondering why we didn't do, do a big loop around the whole building, we just didn't have that much chain. And also the other half was super rotten. So it was just a matter of us uh, being strategic. And here we go for the big reveal as you can see here we this is the point where we actually started sorting through we i want to be very clear we did actually break down the building as you can see only wood is going in one pile because we wanted to make sure we are going to burn it but we wanted to make sure nothing that was um, harmful to the environment or anything like that would actually be burnable now as you can see on that some pieces there is a little bit of insulation and stuff but overall we bagged I would say 99.9% .9 of the installation. Okay, as you can see here, we are going through all the sections of the walls to make sure there is no insulation. We were actually very conscious of this. Um, yeah, just it seems like the right thing to do. And here is Toki lighting the fire. And um, yeah, basically, as you can see, a ton of wood and that's about it if you look in the background there are more pieces we just wanted to start burning early in the day because uh when you light a fire you kind of have to stay with it until it is completely out and buried so yeah we lit it fire and as we we're going to sort other pieces as you can see it's starting to catch a little nicer it just it takes time sometimes uh, but yeah that's it Make sure anytime you're starting to fire like this, spray your area down. Or in our case, we just put it in winter. All right, as you can see now, the fire is burning. And basically, this is what we're going to end up. It doesn't take as long as you think for one of these fires to burn out because once it goes so hot, it's just going to eat through all the materials that you could ever think of. So yeah, again, I just want to reiterate, make sure you're following all local fire codes. Make sure you're um, burning at the proper season and that you have proper precautions in place. Um, hoses, sand, dirt, the area you're burning. Um, you want to make sure that everything is sorted out because while lighting a building on fire is a lot of fun, it's also something that you need to do very carefully and strategically to make sure that it stays within your control. Well, if you want to see more random adventures of Toki and Matt, um, why don't you do us a favor? You can subscribe to the channel to see. You can hit a like button on the video if you wanted to see how this building got knocked over or you know, if you have any ideas for the any of the random makers, why don't you hit it in the comments below. And I guess until next time, let's just go with, let's get making.